Well, I had spent two, two weeks in the hospital with uh, fluid on my right lung. And this is in Alabama, a regional medical center in Anniston. And my pulmonary doctor had results from the biopsies. And we went to, the, to his office and he came in and said that I had mesothelioma. And he referred us to Dr. Sugarbaker and we did some research on the internet and we uh, made appointments. We he, didn't go anywhere else, we came straight to him. And I asked that doctor, because we live close to, fairly close to a major university hospital, UAB, and I asked if we could just go there to save all this travel. And he said, well, you could, but he would go to Dr. David Sugarbaker at Baylor College. And so he made the referral for us. And this was in June of 2015. It was very, here at the Lung Institute, the Dr. Sugarbaker's staff and team was so happy. They were confident and uh, willing to help in any way that, or any type of uh, needs that we needed met. They would really encourage us and, and medically it was uh, a whirlwind really of going being diagnosed and everything. And they seemed glad to see us, they were glad to know us, they found out about our dogs. I mean, they, they seemed to be genuinely interested in us as a family. After the surgery, I was in the intensive care. For two days, I don't remember anything. But I had the nurse, what was her name? Sharon. Sharon. And she was there, she took care of me every day. And I was in the hospital seven days. I think so. And they had me up walking, they had me up. Yes, and uh, they have a contraction, contraption that Dr. Sugarbaker invented, a walker. And it looks like something from outer space. But it I carries the oxygen bottles, it carries uh, all the tubes and bags that was, uh, with me and the nurses were happy you know they were were it was a positive attitude all the way around plus it was not like any other intensive care i've ever been to we were not kept out for hours i could go and stay in his room as long as i wanted to and it was a big room and uh, the nurse didn't mind me being there so that was good because i've been in hospitals where you had to just go in every two or three hours and stay for five minutes. And this was so different. We enjoy things, uh, uh, simple things that we didn't see before. Yeah. And uh, we're both retired now. And we're just really looking forward to the future of, of just being with each other. One thing is about the research on mesothelioma is it gives a short lifespan. I recommend seeing Dr. Sugarbaker. He's positive, he's always there to support you. You can call him on his, on his cell phone and he will call you back. And the staff will too. And the research that is out there on the internet is, is really depressing. So, but you gotta look at the positive. Always think positive. He will explain things to you, how things are going, what will be done, what options you have. And he knows if people don't live here in the community, like we have to go back and forth to Alabama, he is willing to work with an oncologist in your hometown and they can talk and work together. He still drives the case but he's willing to let you get your long-term treatment, uh, like the oncology treatment at home, but then come here for your follow-ups. So that has been helpful so we don't have to be gone from home that long.